I'm, I'm a bit excited about this game. And I've been delaying it for quite a bit. And now it's here. So. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want okay. a shot of you with the town in the background. Okay, it's <laughs> sure. screen. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Deerfest. You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Maine, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but... I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I can get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I think did you, get, did you have some something you know, the hats for my wife or something, friend. You get something to say in your defense before I push you over? Hey? Eh? No, I'm just gonna look smart, right? Bastard. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Whoa. What the hell? Yeah. Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. I'm on vacation. Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. Wow. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. <laughs> you know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Wow. It's a love story. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Wait. Who's this guy? Damn yuppies. Yuppies? I, I cannot... Authorized personnel only. I'm authorized. I can prove it. Let me just pull down my pants. No way. Let's see who has the last laugh. Come on, Slowpoke. You get the what? full service here. I can whoa, 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 whoa. Arrangements. I drive the car. Listen, I'll lady. Even carry the bags. Wait a minute, lady. All you have to do oh, is drag I, your cute just, butt into the car. Shut and up for a second. No, wait. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> shut up, Ellen. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's this, go. This guy just can I like punch him in the face or something? My mouse click doesn't have work. You lucky mate that the game just like you know, put borders on my actions and whatnot. Leave ferry. Okay, let's leave the ferry. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. Alright. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Oh, look at them puppy dog eyes. I've forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. That's cool. And keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Yeah. Oh, we got a jogging man there. Where are Try you running? The coffee. 
Just don't blame me when you fall in love. What the hell's that? Your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. I don't Nothing care about the coffee lady. Coffee under a thin layer of skin. There's some guy yeah, just run up the freaking road there, stopped like a tart and kept on running. That was weird. Okay. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Congratulations. Can I examine my photo now so I get my in a little bit bigger? Uh, Are you on your own? Right. Or is your so wife with you? I can show you the town if you want. Oh. I get off work at six. I think his Ethan just got smaller. Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Um, can I talk to him? Rose? Can you, like, make me a coffee? Black no sugar. Can I get a steady? Or travel? Do me a favor, sonny! What? I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! What's wrong with coconuts? Unless you're a squirrel, and I'll punch you in the face. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you in your sleep. <laughs> Does that get stuck? Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. I'll whack that jukebox. Come on, jukebox. Come on. Come on, slap your whack. What? Come on, jukebox, come on. Come on, jukebox. Yeah. There you go. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't hear anything. It. I've died and gone to hell. Give me some coconuts. I love coconuts. This is the song about coconuts. I am Alan Wake. I'm pushing doors that are closed. Step only punching a jukebox. Coconut song. Yep, best song ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can, can I help you, lady? What, what are you doing, lady? Lady? Um, Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can okay. handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to, die, to get the key you? and get out as Worse. soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. He Over eager listen. fans always did. I don't know. You were just talking when I was thinking and my brain melted down. That she should change the bulb. This is what happens when you get sloppy. Okay. The bulb was right there, right? My eyes just like look at my eyes. Remind them to change their bulbs always. Just stay vigilant because darkness never sleeps. Okay. I think Ellen Wade just like Medna, can you get me the hell out of here? Right, lady, I'm going. Bye bye. Oh, what is this door? This door is locked. Can you, you can even hear the the sound effect when the door is locked from Max Payne 1 and 2. Which is brilliant. I just love it. Thank you, gang. Thank you, Sam Lake. You're a genius. I'll go to the ladies' toilet because obviously Carl is there. You know, being a uh, things Tom or whatever. How is it called? Hello. Knock knock. Who's there? Hello. Mr. Stucky. Are you Stucky inside, Mr. Stucky? Holy! Carl couldn't make oh, it. Stucky Unfortunately, man. he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thank Thanks. You, creepy lady with something on her face. What, what is it called? The Black Veil thing? Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Okay. They want to say something else for me while I'll like spin around you. Oh, can I spin around? 
No, not the mouse. I am so happy this could be arranged. I'm dancing. Wee. Okay. Why? Why don't you run? You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This one ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Shit, she's still here. To change the lights. I hadn't seen her leave, but the old lady was gone. Well, her shadow is still here. Do you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Yay! The song of the coconut. We play song coconut. We play coconut. Yeah. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. Why are they calling me Tom? The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay. Well, uh, bye, lady, friend. Wait, can I read this paper? I wonder. No. I'll be heading back to work as soon as Dr. Hartman gets here, Rose. Oh, but I'm not looking forward to the poison we have at the Park Cafe. One second, wife. I'm uh, chit chatting with Rose here, so you'll be jealous. Now this is what coffee should taste like. Oh, Rusty, like that's tripe. so sweet. I'll swing by with the fresh cup later on. If you know what I'm saying. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye, Rose. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Okay. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Stucky. So you did get stuck in the toilet. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> mm. Can you believe this place? Yep. This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years. Not since my last book. Gonna be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while, see those stars winking down at you. Uh, it gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. Okay. This is too good to be true, and that creepy lady gave me the wrong freaking key. Why creepy ladies always give me wrong keys? Why? Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. That's what she said. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Just a second, Mrs. Wife. I'm just checking really quickly for thermals, but Are you I sure said you I don't care about. Right? Nope. It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. Water. Take a swim. We need it, mate. Come on, take a swim. Oh, a raven. Is there a raven? Maybe it's a crow. Whoa! Um... Holy f What the hell is going on? Um... I'm not playing witch here, okay? <laughs> Please don't- What? Um... Okay. 
this is starting to freak me out already. And I don't think that's the scary part yet. There are many crow crows here or ravens here. Whatever. I think it's crows. Pretty sure it is. They're just vanishing to the thin air. Wow. Ellen, you're such a gentleman. She holds the heavy bag. You're just like running around doing nothing. Yes, I know there, there's a door there. Just wanna go into the bushes to take a bump. <laughs> nope. Nothing comes out just yet. Oh, what is this? An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Okay. Here. 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 Yeah. Mini games for the whims. Wow. This is this still running freaking hell. It looks like it's about to break any second. Holy crap. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. Okay. I'll around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. Aww. I thought we could be happy here. The building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Why is he talking in past tense? I mean... I mean, I could, I could guess that he's telling the story, I guess, after it happened, or something like that. Hmm. I don't know.